So at this point in my life, what I'm focusing on the most is cultivating healthy relationships. And it's so interesting because the way that I grew up was the exact opposite of that. And there's a reason why I seeked out unhealthy relationships, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. What I am going to get into, however, is my experiences of trying to understand how I operate and how um, I used to operate and moving forward how I can be much more in a space of healthy interactions with people. I suppose that's what I'm trying to say here. And what's so interesting is that whenever I sit with how I'm feeling in regards to a potential um, situation with somebody, right? Because the way that I grew up was unhealthy relationships, right? I got very used to that. And when you get very used to something, it basically becomes normalized. So you continue to seek that out because you think it's normal, even if it's not. And so what I find myself doing now is sitting with the energy of the moment. And I'm recognizing that unhealthy relationships make you feel unsafe, even if that has been normalized. Right. So what's interesting about this is that whatever it is that's familiar to you, it doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. What matters is that it makes sense to you because it's what you experienced early on in life. So if what you experienced early on in life was chaos, drama, gossip, unpredictability, all that stuff, you're going to seek that out. That's actually going to feel normal to you. And things like stillness and peace in relationships are going to be boring, right? And you're actually going to attempt to either seek that or create it if it's not present, which I just think is absolutely fascinating. But what I'm noticing now is that I'm approaching situations and relationships and I'm, I'm even being like, hey, listen, I'd like to have um, clear, open and consistent communication. Right. And it's just so interesting to sit with that, like to sit with the the action, the experience of saying that and then just like being just 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 being present with it. It's, it's such an interesting experience. And then beyond that just like seeing how things evolve and everything. Um, I would argue that a vast majority of society is not only dysfunctional, but also exceedingly dysfunctional and also unhealthy in the way that we approach things, right? We learned uh, dynamics of relationships growing up and those dynamics were usually unhealthy because the people that brought us into this world, um, you know, not coming from a standpoint of good or bad, just a standpoint of the nature of the way that somebody is and it usually tends to be unhealthy so we learn these dynamics that are unhealthy and we continue to carry them out until we come to situations and experiences where we actually gain insight that oh wait a second that is exceedingly dysfunctional let's not continue to follow that route and let's instead do this that and the other um, it's so interesting how it works it's very it's very fascinating um, but yeah for myself personally I'm just learning to sit with whatever anything that I'm going through feels like and understanding what it means. Um, I know what my experiences of anxiety, stress, um, depression, you know, cortisol, adrenaline, all that stuff, I know what my experiences of that feel like. And for the longest time, I thought that that's how I had to live life. <laughs> and it's so interesting because like looking at it now, it's like, Okay, well, what does safety feel like? Safety feels like what? What? What is the experience? What? What is the experience of safety like? What is the experience of security? Right. Um, that is, of course, when you attach to a person or multiple people that are healthy. Right. That allow you space to be yourself. That allow you to just be as you are. Um, which is interesting because I have. I have found so many, sorry, I, I meant to say the other way around, I have found so few people in life that are like that, and it's kind of, I was going to say scary and weird at the same time, um, but there are people like that out there, and just finding those spaces of awareness and everything, where you can just be yourself, you can unfold as you are, and just be naturally, no one's trying to pull you out of yourself, pull you in this direction or that direction, they're just allowing you to be as you are. Um, that's a wonderful experience in life and everybody in my honest opinion everybody needs that not everyone's going to receive that because of course 
Um, there's a lot of people out there that are unhealthy and dysfunctional, and they carry out dynamics that way. Um, a lot of people are not going to change. A lot of people are just going to continue to seek based on familiarity, and that's just the way that it works. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be on this path, um, and I'm excited to continue sharing it with everyone. Um, by the way, if you haven't checked out my podcast, you can go to the link in my bio, and if you click on that link, my podcast will appear on my website. You can listen to it. New episodes air every uh, Sunday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I talk about much of the same things that I do on here, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it.